This guest has proven he's got game as an actor, producer, and now director. <laughs> Fans know him as Malik from the series The Game. Check it out. <sighs> Malik, look what I got. <laughs> hey, my man. Boom. Hey, uh, I'm glad you invited me. Of course, Zoya, man. I created this entire league for fans just like you, buddy. I just hope this league survives longer than I do. Hey, 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 man. Stop with them dev jokes. Why? I'm so good at it. Yes, you are, but still. <laughs> oh, cupcakes. Look, more stuff that'll kill me. Uh, hey, hey, stop. That was funny, though, right? Yeah, but still, <laughs> stop. <laughs> Malik. Look uh, what I'm And for Black History Month, he's actually got a new project to share with us, too. So please welcome back, and in person, yay, yes. in person, in person, Hosea Chanchez. Good morning. Good Hello. morning. Thank you guys so much for having me. Oh, yes. so great to have you here. So the season two finale drops tonight. Yes. I know you can't give everything up, but is there anything you can share with us? You know what? This is the culmination of a lot of things that happened throughout the season, which usually is, right, mm -hmm. <laughs> for season finales. And so, it, and it teases a really good storyline for the next season for us. So I'm really hoping that the fans enjoy it. I hope the new fans and new watchers enjoy it too. What was, what has the second season really been about? You know what? I feel like personally, well, for Malik, it's been about uh, a lot of firsts for mm -hmm. him and really him really finding who he is, finding out who he is and um, discovering what's next for him as an athlete. Yeah. 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 And I love that you, folk, you, you touch on a very sensitive subject and that's mental health yes mm. so talk about that and your character and dealing with mental health. it is probably the most authentic place for us to go especially because NFL players as we know right now they're on the forefront of what's happening mm -hmm. in our society and particularly with black people mm -hmm. our brothers and sisters are really doing a lot of the work behind the scenes for us and on the field so our show has to really represent the work that these guys are doing on mm -hmm. the field and off the field in our lives. So the, the new iteration of the show in and of itself gives us the opportunity to explore these yeah. new avenues that our NFL players and athletes in general are taking for yeah. us. And but even, go ahead. No, and even in black America, mm -hmm. black and brown, not everyone right. is willing to talk about suffering from mental health. That's right. So that's great that that's coming out in the show. Yeah, yeah. It's been our executive producer, showrunner, Devon Gregory, it has been really uh, at the forefront of what he wanted to do with the show yeah. and and through particularly my character right. to mm -hmm. discuss those things mm -hmm. so I'm honored and that actually opened up new avenues and doors for me to discover a lot of things about myself yeah. and how I can help myself and other men like myself heal from those traumas yeah, the mm -hmm. more you see it out there the more it's talked about the more people reflect just like you said for your own self that's right and so thank you and to the show for going there and making it more mainstream to talk about uh, you mentioned your executive producer and your showrunner you know you had executive <laughs> Bruce, on your resume, but then you also add a director to that. Okay, show off. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> what's it? You know, how, what's the? You know, kind of walk us through how you kind of transition into that mode. Listen, I have been in this character for almost 20 years of my career, and Crazy. the hugest blessing of my life. Who would have ever imagined? And that has given me such knowledge about this show. So, yeah. moving into directing and producing the show, I knew that. I had a wealth of knowledge that I could give to this new iteration on Paramount Plus. Mm -hmm. So it was really my focus to make sure that I used uh, my history yeah. on the show into the new iteration of the show to be able to give the new fans a lot of what the show meant to me and to Wendy um, as we've channeled and traveled through different networks <laughs> and different <laughs> um, versions of the series. Yeah. So yeah, that was the reason why I really wanted to direct and helm the ship right. because I knew I had a lot to offer to this new, uh, this new iteration. Okay. Can yeah. we talk about something else that you're working on? Okay, I let's mean, talk about it. Black, <laughs> we're in Black History Month that yes. you announced on social media that mm -hmm. you're starting your own show. Talk about that. This is amazing. It's called... The Goodfellas. Yes. Yeah, and it is a show by black men for everyone. Mm. Listen, it's my belief that black men, we are in a crisis right now in our nation, in our country. And I wanted to create a safe space for us to have discussions about our mental health, not just our mental health, where we've been, where we're going. And as a lot of you may know, we don't often have the opportunity, men in general, to just talk about what we are going through. We are supposed to be upheld as leaders in our mm -hmm. communities and all these different things and ways that people see us. And listen, we've done a really great job as a society over the past few years with women, with gay, with transgender, mm -hmm. with so many different groups that needed that help. 
we can't forget about our leaders, our men, our brothers, our fathers, mm -hmm. our friends. Um, and so that was why I needed to create this space specifically for men, mm -hmm. specifically for black men to explore our trauma, not exploit that trauma mm -hmm. and talk about exactly what we're going through. Um, COVID took us all in a different place. It changed humanity. Mm -hmm. It changed all of us. And so I looked out throughout the landscape and as I was suffering from some mental health things personally, which Malik actually brought me through, yeah. as I was suffering through those things myself, I didn't have a space. I didn't yeah. find a place where men who look like me were able to discuss those issues. Yeah. So what could I do? I didn't want to sit around and talk about the problem or complain about it, create a show about it. That's what I do, I'm an artist. Great so idea. create a space for people to actually have those healing moments. And I believe I did that and I'm really proud That's of that amazing. show. That's amazing, and you're, you're bringing up such a good point because it's not exploiting to talk about it. Yeah. And if you do talk about it, sometimes you're portrayed as weak. That's right. And that's wrong. So where mm -hmm. can people see that show? Uh, well, right now, this is, we're trying to find a home for the show. Right. So, okay. <laughs> um, we're trying it. to find a home for You'll it. And it. I wanted, we wanted to create the, the trailer and put it out there and, you know, just let people know that we're working towards giving guys and humans in general yeah. Yeah. Um, a, a safe space to uh, have those conversations. So. You, will, you will find a home because this is needed. Yes. For yeah. sure. Uh, and when we do, I'll come back. Yeah, by the yes. way, just real quick, I know we got to go. Uh, who, who are you rooting for Sunday? Are oh, you, at all? you know what? I don't have a horse in the race, guys, Thank but you, you know yeah. what? Uh, Rihanna. Yeah, there you go. That's don't Rihanna. That's right. Okay, perfect. I'm with you. I'm with you. Uh, great to have you here. Great Thank to have you, you guys. Good to see you. Come game. back. Yes. You got it. The game right. season two uh, finale drops at midnight, and of course, you can stream it at, uh, all, by the way, on Paramount Plus. Some good stuff.